أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم today i'm going to talk about another character of surah yusuf that's a very important character that's a zulaikha and some people says is zulaikha but quran says is a wife of aziz misr and she was a woman with the beauty and all the people at that time if you will go in the history uh, history tells us she was a very beautiful woman and she was very proud woman and she was very like arrogant woman arrogant in that sense that she was very like a pride of her herself whatever she has and she was a good woman she was not a bad woman she has like a good relationship with her husband but when they adopt yusuf al islam she was very admired by his beauty and on the second hand because of his intelligence women they love the intelligent they love the beauty and they love the intelligent but for the women most of the women it's very important the men should be very intelligent because they are providing them the security they are providing them the love and they feel like that they are our providers and same thing happened with her her husband was very strong man but when he saw her husband was asking so many questions for the little boy and all the uh, other things she was getting impressed day by day day by day day by day but because of so many other things she get like uh, attracted physically to him uh, as a yusuf al islam as a yusuf al islam was prophet he definitely definitely on the, on the top of his character it was not possible at all some people says because she's a good woman because nothing happened with her because like she was pure because nothing happened at that time yes she did bad he wanted back but she didn't do that and after that when she tried give her like a signals to yusuf al islam but yusuf al islam he was all the time bend down his head and moving around the house he never ever pay the attention he knew that because he was prophet and he was vigilant prophet too and but he didn't pay attention then directly he asked him and she asked him to come all the way in his, her bedroom because he was a, he was a slave he was a servant he supposed to obey her that's why he came in that uh, that room and after that she closed the doors and when uh, that thing happened her yusuf al islam he asked allah subhanahu wa taala for the help allah helped him and when they were going out at that moment when uh, like is quran says very clearly her husband was outside of that door and then there was a witness about yusuf al islam because she was very clever very intelligent lady too at the same time she just said that to her husband did you see what he did with your wife because she wanted to like uh, go with the, her husband's ego because your wife she just say he tried to do something bad with me with me she said he tried to do something with your wife which is like we were creating more like a uh, anger in him that he should believe more on her but what happened some allah gave her like a help to yusuf al islam and um, everything happened and she become guilty after she become guilty that uh, her husband dealt in a very beautiful way whatever we are going to talk about him in the next episode but this time the zulaikha what she did she was intelligent but she become very very like a cruel after that time because it become like a she become like a openly start saying that about yusuf al islam people start talking women start talking then he asked that woman and asked them to cut the fruit and they cut their hands because she was very smart zulaikha understand the beauty of yusuf al islam the strength of yusuf al islam and the weaknesses of the woman at that time in the egypt she was very because she used that technique by herself to everybody was cutting their hands and after that then she is trying she put him in the jail and after that when she become like a different person she start like um, uh, i want to talk about the love from the uh, boom, uh, she start loving yusuf al islam but she ultimately she, she got her god she start loving to allah subhanahu wa taala the, the the one god because she she was very like a idol worshiper she like to worship the idols all the time but when she saw yusuf al islam's god is giving him everything but my god is not giving me even yusuf and even i could not uh, cannot get his his like a one one eye towards her that's why it makes her to uh, become like a more uh, close to allah subhanahu wa taala and allah using quran the words hub 
who means like that so much love in her and that's allah sunnah if we want something good or if we want something bad if we want a bad allah will open that way if we want something good allah will open those ways but she got this woman got like allah at the end of this story she got allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when we get the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then nothing nothing matters nothing better because there's so much addictive love so much pure love and when we found it out it will like take you in a different way so another thing in this story the zulaikhan's rejection that when she got rejected it was very difficult for her rejection is a very strong power in psychology we see a lot of a lot of issues are because of the rejection self esteem abandonment issues if you will get rejection some people they grow some people they just go very down and it tells us because she was very arrogant lady and she was very like a proud but when she rejected by a by a servant it makes her like insane and that's why she wanted to put yusuf lesla in jail but at the end she asked for, for forgiveness and yusuf lesla also asked for his, her forgiveness because he said that she all the time took care of me and i don't want anything bad for her that's why he did not punish them after they will like um, they will like uh, become like um, he become like a prime minister as he's a minister of uh, like egypt he did not punish them it's very important that we need as a woman we need to understand that our 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 like dignity our respect our things are very important if we will throw ourselves in front of the other people in front of the men in front of the other people and we will not respect ourselves nobody will respect us and it's not like a man who are not respecting us it's us who are not respecting us we need to respect we need to respect and we should careful about the boundaries whatever the boundaries are created if you will stay in the boundaries trust me you will be successful if you will not stay in the boundaries then you will you can see what happened with her and also not her end was good because she found allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but usually i saw when the people they go in that route i don't see any success in that route so that you need to be stay in the boundaries of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i hope you understand that if you have a question you can ask me i would love to answer that question thank you لقد كان في قصصهم عبرة لأولي الألباب ما كان حديثا يفترى ولكن تصديق الذي بين يديه وتفصيل كل شيء وهدى ورحمة لقوم يؤمنون